should not be deceived into believing that the Palestinian issue is a dead issue. I think from the Israeli point of view, Mr. Netanyahu would like us to have a relationship and then we can fix the Palestinian issue. From the Saudi point of view, it's the other way around. So uh, you're saying that Prime Minister Netanyahu is deceiving the Israeli public when he says that he can promote relations with the Arab world regardless of the Palestinians? Absolutely. Absolutely. Why do you think he's doing it? For his own purposes. <laughs> he's a man who runs for election on, on, on platforms of, look what I have done for you, I have brought you this, I have brought you that, have, like all politicians. How do people in Saudi Arabia see, for example, Prime Minister Netanyahu? I think they have a very negative view of Mr. Netanyahu because of what is happening on the ground. And the hubritic attitude that he has uh, praising himself. I'm doing this interview speaking for myself. I do not represent uh, the government of Saudi Arabia in any capacity whatsoever. You don't think you will witness in your lifetime a meeting between the Saudi crown prince or king and an Israeli prime minister? In my lifetime, and there is very little of it left <laughs> to, to come, I don't think I'm going to see that. Not before the Palestinian issue is, is resolved. You've never been to, to Israel, right? Or to Palestine? No. I look forward to the day when there is peace between uh, Israel and the Arab world, and I can visit what I consider to be not only a holy place, but a place of, of my history as an Arab and as a Muslim. Abraham, uh, our father, is not only the father of, of the Jews, he's the father of the Arabs. Uh, Jerusalem is something I want to see before I, I die. And unfortunately, I'm, I'm not too optimistic that I'm going to see that. Um, How is your Arabic? I used to speak Arabic much better. Uh, yeah, what happened? I believe that's a but I But I And you live where? In, uh, in Tel Aviv. I hope you'll be able to uh, also to visit someday. I hope so. You can host me. Yes, I would love to. Uh, an evangelical pastor, a very good friend, visits Israel all the time. And he sent me a 